Les home. The shadows of the steel window frames are drawn back, then released by a breeze to reveal the sun-cracked gauze that lets the flies and muzzies in. Pretorius sits in a slash of light, brushing the orc out of his boots, whistling more spit than sound. As his hand blurs over the laces, scuffing his palm to the colour of his overalls. We're all here, some in shorts that have slipped their drawstrings, others in vests with the life hung out of them, cleaning rifles or licking lies into envelopes. Beyond the base, churches are peeling for believers, drunken notes tumble into the bungalow, swirling homesick motes drawing memory into sunlight, so a happiness that masquerades as dust is held briefly by the doorway. Ya yella fucking nice on the lekker of cock is how it would begin. But before that, a shuffling line, dribbling fucks, forming in the after lunch heat. So we could drop sandbags in each other's packs. Slowly, the weight would grow bones, gather flesh, and sinew and gnaw at our backs. Pretorius always stuffed a wet towel under his webbing to ease the rasp, clots of Vaseline too, that would stain his browns a bitch to wash out. A week later, they found him in the heads, door ajar. Still sitting on the throne, a skull flopped forward, revealing a cracked bowl of bone, a chrysanthemum of brain, dripping pools of blood exploring the flecked tiles and the butt of his R1. It lay there, in the snuggery between his toes, the blackened brass casing of his final letter home. Thank you. Thank you.